friend Val here. As you know, Usborne has thousands of books for all reading levels, from babies who are just learning their first words all the way up to novels. So I'm going to give you a quicker glimpse inside some of these series that we have. So these ones are great just for learning some new words, expanding that vocabulary. The 199 series is super, super popular too. Then we have some flashcards. These ones are nice. They have the uppercase and the lowercase with the word on the back. These are the ABC flashcards. And then the phonics flashcards are more for phonetic learning, sounding things out, with details on how to use the cards. So bag, and then on the other side, we'll have the full word. So great for those kids who are just learning to read. We also have a whole series of these leveled readers, starting with the very first reading. These are the phonics words books. So this one shows small words and phrases. And this one just has um, just the easy, simple words and the letters to go with them that you're learning to sound out. Then we move in to the very first reading level. And it kind of, it goes from like, there's, tw I think there's 22 books in the series. This one right here is book two. So the dressing up box, you can see how simple it is. The parent is supposed to read this side. I like to be a mermaid. And then the child can read this simple part. I can sit on a rock. So then every book in this series just progressively gets um, a little bit more, I don't know what the word is, harder to read, I guess. So that one I was showing you book two, this one is book 13. So you can see that the parent part is gone now and it's just all like speech bubbles and it has comprehension puzzles at the back. So just really great for kids to learn how to read. We actually have an entire reading library that has all of these books. Um, all these 22 books are from the very first reading series and then it moves up into the next reading levels. So this is like the perfect box set for your kids who are just learning how to read and then it progressively moves up to the next levels. So then we have the first reading level one, which is really great. The illustrations in these books are so fun and they all come with this ribbon bookmark so you can keep your place. So as you can see, as I move through these different reading levels, there's just going to be more and more words on each page. This is a first reading level two. This is the Farmyard Tale series book. Here is a first reading level three. Chicken Licken, which is definitely a classic. Then we move into the first reading level four. So as I said, there's still lots of great pictures, but the pictures are getting smaller and there's just more and more words coming. Then we move into the Young Reading. This is a Young Reading Series 1 book. One of my favorite, The Elves and the Shoemaker. And these ones are actually, once you get into the Young Readers, they turn into like a short chapter book, which is great. There's another one, Young Reading Series 2. Again, there's more chapters in these ones. I love this one, this fable one. Part of the Young Reading Series 2, another little side series, is this Billy and the Mini Monsters. There's like, I think there's like eight or ten of them. I'm not really sure. There's a whole bunch of these. And they're kind of like a mini graphic novel. Just like the cutest little story about Billy and these little mini monsters. Another little side series for that Young Reading Series 2 is the Twitch series, which is so cute. All about these little, um, these little bunnies that live in a teacup house that come to life when their owner isn't looking. So this one is a really great story all about um, where the Twitches came from. The next one, they bake a cake, and then the next one, they get a puppy. Then we move in to the Young Reading Series 3, which has lots of of different books in the series. There's classics like this one, Anne of Green Gables. There's Famous Lives like Anne Frank, which has lots of real life pictures from her life. And then we have lots of historical books. 
also books like Animals at War, um, which recaps like how different animals were used in the war. We have the Holocaust, the First World War, Hitler, Titanic, which is super popular. These are the books that I find at school readathons and book fairs. These are the books that the kids are super interested in. They love um, history and true stories. So those are the Young Reading Series 3 books. Um, here's a couple more side series that are that level. We have the Fairy Ponies. We have the Fairy Unicorns. So we're moving into kind of like a novel now, which doesn't have a whole lot of pictures, but still has a few in it. And then we have the Fairy Unicorns. Same kind of thing. It's just not ponies anymore. Now it's unicorns. Hello, Kason. Hi. Okay. Then we're going to move into um, the Young Reading Series 4. And there's a whole bunch of different books in this reading level. We have the Sandy Lane Stables. So if you have a horse lover. We have some really great classics like Jane Eyre and Treasure Island. There's some true stories. True Stories of Survival is a really great one. There's True Stories of Escape. Then we have True Stories from the First World War and True Stories of the Second World War. And it also comes, this box that comes with The Blitz and D-Day. There's the Totally Lucy series, which is um, a little bit more um, mature themed. So I would say this is probably for ages like 13 or 14 and up. We have some classics, um, Frankenstein in this series. There's a whole bunch. Um, Can Canterbury Tales, Treasure Island, and then these ones, which my 13-year-old daughter said um, are some of the best books she's ever read in her life. This one, um, A Place Called Perfect, is amazing, she said. And this is the one she's reading right now, The Boy Who Sailed the Ocean in an Armchair. So lots of words but just super, super interesting. She said they're not scary, they're just fascinating. So those are great ones. Then we have some of these that the company just um, brought in. These are, it says, the Osborne English Reader Series is a new range of graded readers in simplified English for younger learners. I know that these have been really popular for people um, learning a second language. It's more simplified versions of the story. And then it has comprehension puzzles at the back, and it has some dictionaries. So if you have an older reader who maybe struggles, or, or if you're learning a second language, this series is really great. Some of my favorites are the illustrated stories. This one just has a whole bunch of smaller, or sh not smaller, but shorter stories in it, and some pictures. There's dozens of these to choose from. Here's an illustrated classic, Secret Garden, um, and other stories. Um, Railway Children, The Wizard of Oz, Secret Garden, Black Beauty, Little Women, Heidi. So this is just shortened versions of some classic stories. And then you can also buy like the complete unabridged version. So the shorter version of Black Beauty is in here. Here's the longer one if you wanna read the whole thing. And if you're just, just learning, um, to read. Well, not just learning to read, but if you just want a shorter version of the classic, um, this is one of the Young Reading series too. So I just wanted to grab this one out to just kind of compare that we do have all of these books for different levels of readers in all the different classics. So those are great. I'm going to back up again now and go back to some books for the little ones. We have all sorts of picture books too, um, starting with Pick like these little board book series, which are really cute. I love this one. This is brand new on the moon. And I grabbed this one because I wanted to show you. We also have this in paper. So this is cardboard pages. This is paper pages. So just um, for different levels of readers, right? So on the moon, on the moon. So almost the exact same story. This one's just a little bit more simplified. But look, these are so big, like they're like the size of four of my hands, these giant picture books. And again, there's dozens of those to choose from too. We have some really great books um, that are dual readers. So the first experience series is, is one of those where the parent or the child could read the easy top line and then the parent could read the more descriptive part at the bottom. These are all about different first experiences, going to the doctor, going to the dentist, 
here's a little farmyard tale one that has four little train stories in it and this one's a dual reader too as is this one the complete farmyard tales series which is amazing it has 20 farmyard tale books in it it's great there's a little yellow duck hiding on every page in the entire book so this one um, as I said has 20 different books all all in one and then there's a fairy tales one too in the dual readers I think there's actually a Bible as well so Cinderella Sleeping Beauty, Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs, Rumpelstiltskin, and Goldilocks are all included in this great book. And then we have phonics books, and we have so many good phonics books. We have the Little Phonics Collection, which comes with um, 12 of the mini books, like this. Or we have this 20 pack back here that comes with 20 of the bigger ones. So. You can choose the smaller books in the smaller reading library, or you can get 20 books in the bigger size. I just wanted to show you, they're exactly the same, just different sizes. And the phonics books are just so fun. The illustrations are amazing. It's rhyming. They're like the perfect bedtime story because they're so easy. Here's another one of the older phonics books that has the flaps in it. So if you like these flap ones, this is the box set that you would like because it has half of the older ones, half of the newer ones. So same great books, just different illustrator. Osborne also just came out with some listen and learn stories. And so you can just push the button and have the story read to you. So that's really great for kids who are learning to read because they can follow along with the words. Asborn also has a really great series of graphic legends. There's Robin Hood. There's, oh my goodness, on the spot. I can't really think of anything. Hounds of Baskerville is a popular one. Then we have these really, really fun beginner books. This is a young beginner in the Young Beginner series. Look at the illustrations. They're just gorgeous. So all fact-based and learning. Then we have a couple more in the beginner series one all about the solar system. My son thinks that these books are just the best. As you can see behind me, we have a lot of this series. He's a fact kid. He likes to learn and he likes to, to read real life. I think he likes the pictures because there's lots of real life pictures in these books. So you can actually, you can buy, I think there's over 60 of these that you can buy individually. Um, these are always a great value. In this one, you can get 10 of the animal books all in this one box set for pretty much half the price. Then we have the Beginner Plus series, which is great for kids who don't really love to read because there's just lots of great pictures and lots of great facts, but it doesn't seem super overwhelming. And then in the Discovery series, same idea as these ones just a lot wordier lots of real life pictures and just lots of information I'm looking around and I think I've covered everything I wanted to go back to this reading library again there's a whole bunch of different reading libraries I think there's four of them actually I have this the very first one and then this one is for older readers so it has books for that are in like the series with Aesop Fables and Midnight Ghost and William Shakespeare and Anne Frank and Oliver Twist. All of these great books all in this one reading library. So these are 25 books from the Young Reading Series 2 and 15 books from the Usborne Series 3. So I think that's it. If you have any questions about any of these books or series, feel free to ask. Have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching.